Glenn delighted us with your wonderful singing voice. You've almost reached the highlight of any common riding concert in Vestiture. So if the three Jubilee Cornets would like to make their way through the back, please. But to give the stage crew a moment to reset, uh, to rejig the set, I thought I would uh, set the scene with a few verses of poetry that were written by John Laidlaw, or A.T. Warhop, in July 1902. It's called An Old Langhamite's Longing, and it describes the emotions and exile experiences as he revisits the events of the common writing in his mind. An old Langhamite's Longing. I'd rise with the rest on that long-looked-for morning and climb quite aside with the lasses he gave. To see the bright sun of the valley adorning and rolling the mists like a curtain away. And here are the airts wake the hills that surround me and the floors of the forest see plenty and way. That tells of the friends who have gathered around me, but what of their feathers are new passed away. I'd see all the emblems pass by in procession, the banner and spade with a thistle and croon. And corner and flag is I proved to possession, supported by riders, the pick of the tune. I hear hence again or get all proclamation, say four sick pains and penalties dire. Richt, worthily cried, I made great expectation by Johnny, we all his true long and bread fire. I hear when the evening descends over the valley. The heart stirring strains of the evergreen tune, and see the great throng run the prood cornet rally, and sing as they bring him again to the tune. What thoughts rise and fall with the band and the singing, the garmy old heart fairly flutter with joy. That tune, old lang sigh, no so vividly bringing to mind all the days I spent there when a boy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to pass you over now to ex cornet Roger Maxwell, the Chairman of the Common Writing Committee, and the lady investor, his daughter, Michaela. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the most important part of this evening's proceedings, the presentations to our Sammy Jubilee, Jubilee and Diamond Jubilee Cornets. This is once again in the very capable hands of Michaela Maxwell. Michaela. Mr Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, another year of unknown has passed us by and we are again at the peak of Langham's calendar. Although we are not having the common ride and we'd hoped for, there is an excitement in everyone for the day we are able to return to normality and have our traditional common riding without restrictions or fears. The reward at the end of these unusual times will be well worth the wait to be able to see our cornet and flag gallop up the hill, hear our bands, admire our emblems, and celebrate with fellow Langhamites writing another year in history. As we step closer to that last Friday in July, I wish everyone the best and hope you can all reminisce and celebrate this year in your own way. In 1996, David McVitie fulfilled the dream of a lifetime when he was elected as Langham Common Rider. Cornet. As the morning cleared, it was evident it was going to be another great common riding. David carried out his duties, followed by 170 horses, and returned the flag at the end of the day after an experience that was beyond what he ever expected. David rode his first common riding in 1992 after his good pal Stephen Ray was elected Cornet. He decided to make a summer of it and got his Castle Craig's badge that year as well. He then went on to be Castle Craig's president in 2009 and 2010. David is a well-known character here in Langham. He's famous for his great speeches, never failing to entertain his audience and make them laugh. David has been an assistant carrying the thistle for 15 years now, adding even more height to its domineering presence. If he's not got the thistle in his hand, you'll probably see him behind the camera, snapping the picturesque scenes from Langham's great day. This year isn't the year David had been expecting. However, he will again carry the flag 
as you did 25 years ago and mark our boundaries on the last Friday in July, a special way to be able to celebrate this year. David has chosen a nibby crafted by David Irvin. After spending many years planning it with David Irvin Sr, it's something that will be very special to him to represent this year. David, it gives me great pleasure to present this beautiful nibby to you on behalf of the members of the Common Riding. I hope that you, Jen and the family have a day to remember on Friday. Mr Chairman, Diamond Jubilee Cornet Vitti, Jubilee Cornet Nixon, Lady Investor, friends and invited guests, and everyone joining us through the powers of the World Wide Web. When I messaged Big Stevie last year when it was announced that our common riding was to be curtailed due to the global pandemic, I didn't think for a minute that we'd be in exactly the same predicament this year, and that I too would not have the year I'd been expecting. I'm ever mindful, however, that there are families who have lost a lot more to this virus than we have, and I am thankful that we, at least, will manage to mark our boundaries with the same reverence with which we do every year. And I'm grateful to the Common Riding Committee for their faith in entrusting me with a job once again, some 25 years after I began it in 1996. I should also like to thank the committee for presenting me with this wonderful nibby. It's something that I shall treasure, and when the time comes, pass on to my son, Finn. 25 years. If you say it quickly, it doesn't seem that long. I know that many of you watching this online will see the muscular physique and boyish good looks that stand before you <laughs> and think that I must have been three when I was cornet, but it will surprise you to learn that I was a mere 24 year old. At that age, the world is your oyster and you're invincible. You don't have aches and pains. You don't make strange noises when you bend down. And you leap out of bed in the morning instead of preparing yourself mentally for the task five minutes beforehand. In July 1996, ex cornet Malcolm Devlin's favourite group, the Spice Girls, debuted at number one with Wannabe. A prehistoric man was found in Kennewick with an IOU for Xander Turnbull in his pocket. <laughs> Thousands of Welshmen rejoiced at the news that Dolly the Sheep had been successfully cloned and Corona was still only a best-selling beer. But here in London, we were getting ready for our big day. I'd struck jackpot with my right and left hand men, Big Stevie and the late Lil Ewart, and we had an absolute blast the whole week. The day itself started off overcast, and we watched the hind trail in a light drizzle, marvelling at how these Cumbrian trailers could look at a mist strewn hillside about three miles away and announce with startling confidence that Haika wins it! <laughs> The weather then just constantly improved. There was an air in the morning which kept the horses and riders cool on the hill, and then in the afternoon the sun broke out, bathing the games at the castle home in glorious sunshine. I just remember the whole day being great fun, and I must have looked like the village idiot with a massive grin on my face from dawn till dusk. As I near completion of the job that I started way back then, it struck me that when I was a wee boy, the semi-jubilee was always an old man, and so I guess that on receiving this beautiful nibby, I must now resign myself to the fact I'm officially old. It had always been my intention to have the late David Irvin make my nibby when the time came, but sadly fate intervened and took him from us far too soon. The only real choice then was his son, young David, and I'm absolutely blown away by the quality of work that is evident in this stick. You really are a master craftsman at the top of your game, Dave, and I thank you for it. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge number of people have said to me that they're sad I won't get the year that I'd planned. <coughs> Excuse me. And whilst that is true, we must remember that this will not last forever. We'll be back bigger and better in day, and when we are, it'll be some perky. I will conclude now and wish you all fantastic common riding, wherever in the world you may be, but we special mention the New Zealand exiles who will have to make do with the online event this year, but will I know make the very most of it. I'd like to thank the Common Riding Committee once again for this lovely nibby, Michaela for pre presenting me with it, thank my family and friends for their love and support, and hope that you all have a great day on Friday, however you choose to celebrate it. Thank you. This 
this year, Robin Nixon is our ju Jubilee Coronet. In 1971, he carried out his duties on a beautiful sunny day, marking the boundaries of our land on the horse he had for the common riding named Some Boy. Robin rode from age 15 right through until his semi-jubilee. He speaks fondly of the times he had as Cornet and when he celebrated his 25 year anniversary. The memories and the great friends he has made along the way have really revealed the beauty of common ridings and the long lasting enjoyment they give. Although this is not how Robin expected to be celebrating his ju jubilee, I know that he has enjoyed catching up with friends and family over the last couple of weeks, looking back over the years. This year, Robin has chosen to have a second band added to his ebony cane, which sits proudly on display in his home. I know that Robin is very happy to receive the cane back tonight, as he's missed its presence and was concerned that it might have got lost after being collected at the start of July. Robin, I am pleased to return this smart ebony cane to you with a new silver band to mark your year as coronet 50 years ago. I hope that you and Anne have a lovely day on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to thank Michaela for presenting us with this Manidi Bark. <laughs> and uh, I wish David and Ian all the very best for Friday. And I thank Ian for putting up with his past few weeks. So thanks, everybody. Thank you. This year, Ian McVitie is celebrating his Diamond Jubilee as Cornet. Coming from a family of common riding enthusiasts, Ian rode his first common riding at age 13 and continued for a staggering 59 years, which is quite an achievement. Ian has given a lot back to common riding, being a member of the committee for over 40 years. He is devoted to Langham common riding and has always been very passionate, which he has passed down through his family. I know how much it means to Ian to be able to celebrate his Diamond Jubilee and to see his grandchildren involved makes it more special for him. In tonight's concert, his granddaughter Kayla is performing. On Saturday, his granddaughter Ethion completed her first ride out and his grandson Jaden will join Ian to go round the hill on Friday, all making a special effort for their papa's 60th anniversary. To mark the occasion, Ian is receiving a picture of Waverley Mill, where he worked at the time he was coronet. Ian, I congratulate you on reaching your Diamond Jubilee and I'm delighted to present this picture to you on behalf of the members of the Common Riding. I hope you, Isabel and the rest of the family have a special day on Friday. Mr Chairman, Michaela, common riding members, ladies and gentlemen. I would just like to thank the common riding for presenting me with this painting of Waverley, my place of work 50 years ago. I am the third member of the family to receive this 60 year presentation. The common riding will always be a very different and here's hoping 2022 will be back to normal. I think that's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robin, and, uh, Robin and David, all the best on your semi jubilee and jubilee celebrations. And to everyone, enjoy what they are, able to celebrate the Friday. Thank you. Mr Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to also make a small presentation to Diamond Jubilee Cornet Ian McVitie on behalf of Langham Ex Cornets Association. Ian has chosen to be presented with this inscribed medal, similar to the type presented to many Diamond Jubilee Cornets over the years. Ian, on behalf of Langham Ex Cornets Association, I wish you and your family all the best for the rest of the week and congratulate you on reaching your Diamond Jubilee. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
is a new one. <laughs> Jimmy, members of the ex Cornets, ladies and gentlemen, I thank the Cornets for this gift which I will cherish. I hope everyone enjoys the very much curtailed se 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 ceremonies on Friday, but we can all make the most of what they are, allowing us to hold this present time. Thank you. That brings the presentation ceremony to a close. At this stage, I'd like to thank Michaela for the very dignified way that she carried out this difficult task. Thank you, Michaela. I'll now hand you back to your compere, Billy Young. Thank you. <laughs>